I don't think the phaser bags will be sh strong enough when we charge them. For the, for the fighters? Up. Wait, what's the, what's no the concept? The question, is, I just came to me, 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 the question is simple. On. Okay. Why are there no like small X-wing style single man fighters in the Star Trek universe? Is it a good question? No, it is not a good question. It is a good question. The, go ahead. Yeah, I want to hear. Okay, Ted, what's your theory? Star Trek fighters for two hundred. What? Star Trek fighters for two hundred. Ted. No, so my theory, Ted, Ted my theory, Nine. although I do think there's some merit in this also, my theory is that offensively, they would not be as very strong against big ships, right? Because the Enterprise has no Little ships, little guns is what you're saying. That's basically what This is a right. traditional argument on yeah. the And you couldn't you have know. photons or physical things, so you can't have... They're coffin-sized. Right. Because they put Spock in them. Correct. Yes. So you can't have like a hundred photon torpedoes on, on a... Uh, in fact, if you look at any small craft, none of them have torpedoes. What's but that's wrong. But they, they, do, they do have phasers. Run about the phasers and warp engines. Oh, well, the only weapon tree they ever have is PG phasers. boats are in the Star Trek universe because it's from the future. They only have phasers, is what I'm saying. Oh. And the phasers. There's no water in space. And the phasers. It's frozen. There's water in space. And what I'm saying. So, so, yeah. what's the smallest? I don't know. I don't know that. Like, I don't. I don't. I never owned tech manuals or anything. What's yeah. the smallest? Shuttle like, sure, you didn't. Shuttle yeah. Mark IV. Fighter class. No offensive. There, there are no, no fighter class. classes. There aren't. There aren't. What's the, okay, smallest offensive. The smallest uh, the offensive Akira, thing. What? The Akira, which is designed to fight the Borg. Okay. That what was in first contact. What about the Defiant? Defiant was not. The Defiant, Defiant was, Defiant was awesome. also designed to fight the Borg, but Defiant was not as uh, small. Really? Defiant was good. So Defiant had a crew like forty, I think. Really, forty? Yeah. That's a lot of. Yeah. That's still. That's Ted, still pretty small. I'm going on a tangent. I want you to watch this. And compared and to this, the Enterprise, which had like a thousand. Thing. Yeah. By the way, you want to hear a tangent? tangent? <laughs> I fucking hate these anti-marijuana comic book ads. They've been around for years and years, and they're the dumbest things I've seen in my life. <laughs> Norm, Norm. They're Norm. so ineffective. Norm, can you do me a favor? They're so Norm, ineffective. Norm, can you can you go to can you go to can you go to a site? Being myself is special. Being a fool is not me. They really don't remember the beginning with the crew compliment. I walk through halls feeling good, keeping my head up. Happy being myself. I've got nothing to hide. Booze weed? I don't need that kind of drama. This is the voice I, I assume that people, that, like the marketing you, you people. Just, just, with like it, just sounds, it just sounds like your voice. 46 all the time. <laughs> That's a lot of people. I told I said 40, I was off by See, 6. See, I always thought that they were kind of racist on DS9 because they gave Worf the Klingon, like yeah. the little tiny ship with only like four dudes. Or he wanted them. No, that's that's lied, just for, that's because it's funny. The defiance is. Oh, the, okay, then, in that case, it's not racist. What, Forty-six okay. people. What? It's like the clown car the yeah, yeah. concept. Like you give the big guy the, big the guy, little, 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 little tiny car. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Kira Kira was, but, yeah. What is forty-six Mini. people? What? Forty-six people was the crew complement of the defiance. Oh, okay, class. Six shots people though, because this is not real things we're talking about. How's the candy, Drew? They will the Kira had 15 torpedo launchers. The Kira, some... The who? Yeah, but that was a big crit. That was a big ship, dude. So it was basically just torpedoes. That thing was just a yeah, but bucket for torpedoes. Cells, that was a big ship. Yeah, I guess so. That was a big ship, dude. Your power Ted, and weapon. can you beat, I think defensively can you can beat be Team Jeopardy? How about a kamikaze? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, really, you really want me to play Team Jeopardy right now? Team Jeopardy, I would fucking rock this. You know, the greatest thing I could ever find out was you know, for a long time is they were on Team Jeopardy. Is regular right. Jeopardy is impressive enough? Regular Jeopardy is impressive, but Team Jeopardy is no, enormous. This is get to look back and see what's like in time when they were an enormous nerd. Do I have to get every question right? <laughs> exactly. I got what mad opinions, crazy ideas, but getting high is not my thing. I've got bigger things on my mind. Like it or don't, doesn't matter to me. When it comes to music, I'll tell you anything. I'll tell you anything. I don't think Rory's pro drug screen is going to prevent this from being a I'm real not lemon. Pro drug question. <laughs> no, I hate the anti weed property. Like, if you're going to. I have an advertising against like Coke Did you see the or meth. So hungry. Whatever. It's Holy shit! It's Neil. What is? We could shave the power. The food. Oh man! What is ship? What is ships? Cook? Cook? I didn't like. Is that a video point? daily double? Is that what just happened there? They're all the videos. Was given the job of on team for the Star Trek. Yeah, that was a very easy one. Yeah, These are all. Yeah. Really yeah. None of them know. And so they don't know any of the answers. Who is the greatest man in the world? The Bar They don't know any of the questions. The Bar Burton, obviously. Talking. Know better as Dude, that's ass. easy. Now, we'll go that's to the trivia. He's also these awesome. guys, the, the thing is, Star Trek on Team Jeopardy is a trap. What is, the, what is, what is sick bait? This is like the easiest <laughs> category I've seen in my life. If you get on Jeopardy, you have got to call him out on the mustache thing. Oh, so, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Everyone has done that, though. Really? It's. I mean, it's... I don't watch Jeopardy at this point. Or at all. You know, on Jeopardy, they, there's a, a substitute, Alex Trebek, that runs you through like a fake round of Jeopardy. They have a stand-in um, Trebek? They, they run, so you, you get practice buzzing in. 
and they do a whole game of Jeopardy just practicing before the real game. It's yeah. how everything moves. So it, it's how, because um, uh, what's his name from uh, Conan O'Brien? Um, Andy, Andy, Richter. Andy Richter was on Jeopardy and showed behind the scenes, right? <laughs> Him competing against... Um, Who is Andy Richter? <laughs> Who is Andy Richter? <laughs> Very good. I see what you did there, guys. Who's on first? Uh, an old friend of ours, uh, Rich Gallup, someone that he went to co uh, college I with, yeah, college friend, friend. Uh, was on Jeopardy and won like several fucking days. Like oh. ended up racking up a good amount of cash. It was one of those things that you know they shoot those things in big groups. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was like months before he could say anything about. His yeah, performance on it, like what the outcome of the show can, was. Can you go to Vegas on like show night and you know, go to the sports book and lay down <laughs> some money on Jeopardy? <laughs> uh, yeah, next no, question, no. 50 bucks item, but the next question is Groundhog Day song. Yeah. Uh, harder is knowing what the next answer is. Exactly. No, but literally, it's Groundhog Day. Yeah. He did the shtick, like, like Kitty Cox. Right. right. That was a dick move, I'm sorry. Uh, it sounds like Patton Oswalt sometimes when you go to your. Uh, kind of probably, 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 you disagree? You think it's a, back on to the theme here? You okay, yeah, let's take <laughs> it back. Well, to bring this home. Full circle. Shuttle craft. The shuttle craft. No, not shuttle. The shuttle craft. I think, piece of I shit, think fighters. The lack, the lack I think, of small no, fighters. No, I don't think. I don't think the lack of small fighters. I. I think we both agree that small fighters have no place in Star Trek. They don't. I don't. There are none. There are none. And there have been some. But let's just count the DS9 battles. Those were Federation ships. But. We disagree, where we disagree These is the reason behind this. The amazing display of nerdery going on right here. Sure, sure, Your argument is like that because of the, the lack of uh, firepower, it's a technical limitation. Yeah, you're uh, saying they can't cool. have enough dilithium crystals to no, blow shit no, up. No, no, not no, not dilithium crystals dilithium. because I'm saying small, that small, small fighters, shuttlecraft have small. I'm saying that they can't have enough photons, photons or fully I don't think they need photons. Lasers well, they have dilithium crystals and warp drive is what makes the phasers work. As it provides the power. The phasers, right. Yeah. Now, what, would a shuttlecraft kamikaze work? Like, if, if they come, come up against... Uh, Are you saying could they penetrate the shields? That's not. Nice. It depends, getting more and more depends on how you believe the shields work. Are shields... Like, is it a bubble or is it dynamic? It's a bubble, dude. Uh, projections. The, the next yeah, all I know is a polarized hole planning. I don't know anything about shields. I, I think, like I think old school tech. I'm shuttle, new Star like Trek. If you, okay, if you look at... I'm trying to think through the episodes, right? Been alone. I'm standing. I'm so standing by Norm on this one. About roads. <laughs> if you look at Star Trek versus I mean, Star Wars, you never see Wesley Crusher in a turret, like aiming through a reticule, like it's 1943, and he's well, fighting just, Jerry. I just love the fact that sometimes phasers miss. Like it's the 24th century. Phasers we have miss computers. A lot. Yeah, but why? How could I plot device? Yeah, but like, hey, come on! Don't speak. We're talking in universe. <laughs> Phaser no, Smith because of sensor, sensor problems. Because, 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 because the delay in sensor should be that's way better answer. than. Well, when you're talking about they have these helicopters now that can can throw a hula hoop up and they can go through it mid air. We're talking about massive distances. If they didn't do a good job to to I I don't believe it. Up to you now. We're talking about speed of light too. It's there. It's going to be there when the laser. This is where Michael depends on how fast you process sensor permission and also the ship is moving in and out of space. If Moore's law still applies in the 21st century, these these computers are going to be the size of his eyeball and they're going to be like a crazy library computer. That's what makes warp drive possible. Otherwise, they'd have to stop. Look, you know this. You've been watching Enterprise. I do watch. Back with brand new More bastard. Gonna hold me yeah. tightly. I agree with like Chad. Ninja, right. Daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Will it ever stop? I don't know. Drew's had enough. I'll go. <laughs> Final <laughs> analysis. Final analysis. Final analysis. <laughs> Internet land. Love it. Contrast to Norm. Although I think Norm's point has some merits. The reason that there are no small craft attack vessels in Star Trek is because they would be underpowered vis-a-vis -vis the phasers and they would not be able to have enough physical photons or in the newer versions quantum torpedoes to be used as an effective offensive weapon. Perhaps it might not. That's my fun. That's good. That's good. That's Enterprise versus Death Star. What? I'll take Death Star. I think Enterprise. Death Star well, has, well Death of course Star he's going to take. Death Star has no shield. Death Star has no shield. Star has Precise. absolutely no shield. There's no shield. Death Star, if they can lock on with two players, I think it's over. What is a lock? What is the Death Star ever locked on? I don't feel like the Death Star could it do shit. It has locked on a planet. It, it, that didn't move, and maybe a, one calamari. And by the way, please don't yeah. don't don't mix universes like that. It's, <laughs> it's just <laughs> filthy. You know, How it's it's filthy. filthy. Okay, clearly said lasers. Lasers couldn't even penetrate the environmental shields. This is true, right? Right. Right. Lasers. Do not Those aren't lasers, they're blasters. 
They're lasers. We don't know what a blaster. We don't know what sort of disruptors like disruptors. What exactly is it? We don't know what sort of like material, energy, compound, makeup, any of that shit. Disruptors are phasers, but why do they? they Again, because they they go. Disruptors are illegal in Federation because they tap into subspace, and. Disruptors? Uh, I'm talking about handheld disruptors? Yeah, they are illegal. Right, okay, fair enough. If you put a phaser all the way to max, you can vaporize somebody. Oh, yeah, because it's instantly, instantly heat. And you can also spread. Sure. Alright, I'll just sure. let these guys continue talking. The they, they won't yeah. stop. Once they get on Star Trek, they, they never stop. I can talk all day about Star Trek. I can talk all day. I can talk all year about Star Trek. Same thing. the disruptor page of memory alpha. Is that a challenge? Like one of those like like Hindu y- yoga yogic things where I have to do one thing for a year? Yeah. That thing is Star Trek for one year. <laughs> <laughs>